Hello, hypertension resistors. Are you worried that they're going to run out of vaccines before you can get yours? And are you concerned about this new UK variant? I want to talk to you about those two things today. And stick around until the end so you can hear the projection of when we should possibly get back to normal or our new normal anyway. We all know that there are different COVID-19 variants that have been identified globally. We don't like to assign countries to the different variants that are being found, but um, I'm just going to refer to the variants as the different countries just for simplicity. The Brazilian variant is more contagious, but we don't know if it causes more severe illness at this time. However, the COVID SARS-2 virus is still our original uh, COVID uh, pandemic virus, and it's the one that's still the most dominant. So far, the other types of variants are not dominant, and that's the good thing. But the UK Variant is more contagious and it's more deadly. And the South African variant has been shown to be resistant to the protective antibodies. So now more than ever, it's time for us to hunker down and do our public health measures and get our vaccine so that we can protect ourselves against this virus. And we also know there's the Nigerian variant out there, and that was identified in late December, and we don't know how far it has spread uh, so far. But what we do know is that the vaccines that are available from Moderna, Pfizer, and the new one that's coming on board, well, there are several new ones, but Johnson & Johnson, I believe, is the next one that we'll be seeing that's going to be released And we know, according to the experts, that the vaccines will, in fact, protect against the new variants. So not to worry there. However, there are some uncertainties about these mutations or variants. We don't know how long the vaccines will be effective against these different mutations. And we don't know if our testing will be able to continue to pick up these different mutations in order for us to know who is COVID positive and who's negative. We're not sure if antibody treatment um, will still be effective against these different mutations. The vaccines also could be altered in order to cover the new variants if needed. And now we know the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines are at least 90% effective against COVID-19. And these numbers will continue to fluctuate as we know more. As you know, you need two shots for the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines in order to get full protection. But somewhere I've read that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine may be just one shot. We have new information that double masking could possibly give 90% protection against uh, COVID-19. So generally what you want to do is get a surgical mask and a cloth mask. Now the cloth mask should be worn over the surgical mask in order to get this 90% percent protection. Otherwise, fabric masks by itself or the fabric or cloth masks gives you about 70 percent protection against COVID-19. Only if you wear it correctly. Now, wearing it correctly would be to cover your nose and your mouth and apply the mask as the Center for Disease Control recommends. But it sounds really silly now to even think that we thought the mask only would protect the other person rather than protect yourself as well as the other person. So now we know if you wear a mask, 
you're protecting yourself and you're protecting others. Wow, we've come a long way, y'all. So let's hear what Dr. Anthony Fauci has to say about double masking. Dr. Fauci is the chief medical advisor for President Joe Biden here in the United States. Does double masking work better than just wearing a single mask? You know, it, it, it likely does because, I mean, this is a physical covering to prevent uh, uh, droplets and virus to get in. So if you have a physical covering with one layer, you put another layer on, it just makes common sense that it likely would be more effective. And that's the reason why you see people either double masking or doing a version of an N95. This double masking is something that we all can do. If, you know, if it doesn't affect your breathing, then go ahead and put the double mask on. It won't hurt anything. And you're probably wondering, when will all this be over with? I mean, really, how long will you have to wear this double mask? And how long will it take to get the vaccine? And what in the world is going on with the supply of the vaccine? So let's listen to the president of the United States tell us what's really going on. He will answer all these questions. You might even be surprised by his projections. Here is President Joe Biden. The vaccines are distributed to the states based on population. And so the smaller the state, the less vaccine, the bigger the state, the more they get. From this week forward, God willing, we'll ensure that states, tribes, and territories will now always have a reliable three-week forecast what the supply they're going to get. So they'll know three weeks ahead of time what's going to be there in the third week. This is going to help make sure governors, mayors, and local leaders have greater certainty around supply so they can carry out their plans to vaccinate as many people as possible. The end goal is to beat COVID-19. We have to hit the goal of 100 million shots in 100 days. And we believe that we'll soon be able to confirm the purchase of an additional 100 million doses for each of the two FDA-authorized vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna. We expect these additional 200 million doses to be delivered this summer. And some of it will come as early, begin to come in early summer, but by the, mid, by the mid-summer that this vaccine will be there. This is enough vaccine to fully vaccinate by end of the summer, the beginning of the fall. It'll be enough to fully vaccinate 300 million Americans to beat this pandemic. What? 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 So we will have enough vaccines to vaccinate the whole United States population? I mean, there are 328 million Americans. And he's saying we're going to have at least 300 million vaccinations. Wow. And we can get back to normal, or well, our new normal by late summer, early fall. My goodness. My goodness. I guess our job is to do our part. And our part is to make sure we don't spread the virus. We have to prevent the spread of the new variant so that they won't become dominant. And if too many people get the new variant, then that will become our dominant strain and we might have to start all over again. Who knows? According to scientists now, like I said before, the vaccines should cover us, but or the vaccines can be altered. But why? you know, in order to prevent all that from happening, perhaps we just need to double mask, do our social distancing, wash our hands, ventilate our workplaces and our homes, don't touch our eyes and our nose, and ask your doctor about getting the vaccination. I hope that we can utilize all our resources to get the vaccination into every arm. Using places like the firehouse, grocery stores, drug stores and other places like the barber shop and beauty shop and if we can utilize some retired health care providers and other retired EMTs doctors we could get people vaccinated quickly 
So now you're up to date on COVID-19, on the vaccine, on then, and now you know what to do to protect yourself from the new variants. Also, you know when we could possibly see our way out of this mm-hmm. pandemic. If this information has been helpful to you, like it, share it, and consider subscribing to the channel where you'll get more information about trending topics and what everybody ought to know about hypertension. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.